when you present it with something and you don't get the irony, y'all watch this. You're saying you write songs. Yeah, here's this. Okay. If I can get it, please. So this is this is a song you. This, yeah, this is my granddaughter. My granddaughter. <laughs> How old is she? Seven. Seven. Six is the time, yeah. time we wrote this one. And she actually come up with the Sleepy Joe has got to go. She came up with a chorus. Sleepy Joe has got to go. Pause that for one second. What do you what do you think about what do you think about the the left in, indoctrinating children? Oh my goodness, it's. Listen, this is what happened in Nazi Germany. Yeah. This is what happened in Russia. And then you, uh, you and the, the, your seven-year-old granddaughter, you're writing all the songs that are all about Joe, how Joe Biden's bad and Trump, or? Well, we, we've got other songs, but the ones that are, you know, that we put on here are definitely con our pro-country. What in the fake outrage about indoctrination is going on here, man? Though he doesn't see what he's doing as being indoctrinating, it's very telling in what they've seen as being pro-country. The last time I checked, bipartisan politics, two-party system, Democrats and Spurs Republicans, that was a uh, pro-country sentiment values, right? Sleepy Joe, it's got to go, huh? Sleepy Joe, it's got to go. That was whack. That was corny. Like, God bless that seven-year-old, but that was whack. That was corny. And then the choice of music, right? They will criminalize the black community for quote unquote having thugged aggressive culture and then use products of our culture to push their own agenda. Sleepy Joe, got to go. <laughs> you know, education is elevation. Let's just provide a little bit of clarity, right? Indoctrination is defined as the process of teaching a person or a group to accept a set of beliefs uncritically. Excuse me. One has to ask the question, what critical thinking skills did you give your granddaughter when you was teaching her about Sleepy Joe having to go? And that's not saying that conservatism or the right is devoid of critical thinking, though most of y'all are. Some people might ask, what are examples of indoctrination? If you ask that, hiding facts, disparaging students' opinions, or rejecting any ideas that contradict the teacher's beliefs, so in this instance, granddad, are examples of indoctrination. Indoctrination is a means of forcing, brainwashing, or imposing desired ideologies without open discussion. And let's be real, how much open discussion you think going on with a granddad and a granddaughter right there when they talk about Sleepy Joe has to go over the hip hop music? How much? How much hype do they feel about critical race theory? Do you think that he teaching the granddaughter how to connect the dots between you using these type of cultural aesthetics and you criminalizing these cultural aesthetics and then you pushing this to particular cultural aesthetic? Am I talking too fast? Let me know. I feel like if you watch the video again, and you watch closely, you can see there was a moment of clarity that almost broke through, but then he remembered his mantra and was like, ah, oh, yeah. I'm here on January 6th in the biggest gathering of losers in Washington, D.C. in a long, long time. Here's one now. Okay, I'm gonna have you take one of me. Yes, sir. What would you say to Donald Trump if you were talking to him right now? I'd say you're the greatest president of our lifetime and I'm 65 and I've seen a lot going on that is so false and fraudulent, it sickens me and I will die standing in my boots as a patriot for this country. If this goes wrong, it's not gonna be good. There you have it. Like millions of people across the world, I will never forget January 6th, 2021. But when I look back on that day, as more comes out about what really happened before, during, and after the siege on the US Capitol, some people want me to avert my gaze. Democrats don't have any other issue on which they campaign. I mean, the January 6th Capitol riots uh, had many terrible crimes. I think most Americans, though, remember most about January 6, 2021, that gas was $2.40 a gallon. I don't remember how much gas was at that time or the price of a loaf of bread or how much a movie ticket would have cost. I don't even remember what I was wearing that day, but I do remember that these terrorists got a little too close to completing an insurrection, making them insurrectionists. And whether or not they had weapons on them while they filmed themselves doing stuff that not even America's rivals would dare dream of doing, Time doesn't change who they are or what they did. Are there people out there denying the CIA's many coup attempts in other countries based on what kind of methods they used? Depending on how they went about changing governments, we would just label it one of the many kinds of coups. There are multiple. I made a whole video about this. And I can't believe I have to say this, but no matter how bad inflation gets, those terrorists, those insurrectionists, 
We're trying to prevent the certification of a free and fair election. That's the main reason why, and I've said this before, but it's a personal policy of mine not to compare J6 to BLM protests. The goal of insurrectionists was to disrupt democracy. Eyeballing property damage is short-sighted. And never mind the fact that any property damage and loss of life that occurred after the murder of George Floyd and other unarmed black people after the beginning of the pandemic was likely due to outside agitators. See, Texas man Ivan Harrison Hunter and Boogaloo boy Steven Cirillo, just to name a few. And that's for the why didn't anyone from BLM riots get prosecuted type people. While I'm going down this road and before I U-turn, look, we can say a lot of things about Black Lives Matter global network, swindlers and grifters. They're just like political action committees. But BLMGN's stated goal has been essentially to police the police. Meanwhile, people don't watch Fox News for news, even though news is in the title. They put it on the TV because it's entertainment, says their lawyers. They also don't shop at Target expecting to only see supplies for darts and archery, or walk into a BJ's for, well, the point is, and I get it, they want Black Lives Matter Global Network to do things it wasn't intended to do because Black and Lives is in the name and it became a large and influential organization. And they don't think Black people talk about Black violence because they don't have Black friends. Because they maintain these ideas. Went down a lot of avenues there, didn't I?